everyone and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh. And today I thought I would review the tracking results for the month of October. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at the or call me at 929 3200 GAP. If you'd like more information, you can pick up a phone and call me or email me. And you can feel free to watch me on Fox Business Network where I will be discussing stocks and the market. Day trading is about chunking it out. You're looking for a move every day. You get in, you get out. You get in, you get out. You get the move. I like to focus on shorts. Occasionally, I will go long. I focus on gaps. I focus on stocks that are gapping. It's a system I created where I look at 26 points every day, and I rate the gap. And based on the rating system, that's how I determine what I will trade that day, whether long or short. As I said, however, I prefer to short. So the results for October, 10-2 was a TV day off, 10-3 was TTS, 1,500 profit, 10-4 Tiva, Tiva's had a lot of nice downward moves, 3,000 profit, 10-5 no trades, 10-6 was cost, 1,100 weekly total the first week of October, 5,600. Average per day that first week was 1,867. 10-9 was cost, 3,400, 10-10 Dow, 625. 1011 HDSN was a loss. WMT was a profit. That was a good one, 2800. 1012 JPM was a loss. Tiva was a winner again, 1800. 1013 TV day off. Weekly total, 6525. Average that week, or average that week per day, 1631. 1016 was a spy, was a loss. Apple was a winner, 2,800. 1017 was Hog, loser, 960. NWI, 2,440, winner. 1018 Spy was a loser. IBM was a really nice gap, 3,400 profit. 1019 was Apple, that was a nice one, 3,285. 1020G was a loser, and CLG was a winner, 2,800. It was a big week, 11,204. 1016 week, average per day was 2,241. Then 1023, Matt was a winner, 1250. 1024, G was a loser, 1200. Logi was a loser, 1000, and Matt was break even. 1025, Juniper was a loser, 1200. AMD was a big winner, 6300 was a big day. 1026, CLG was a loser, and CLG was a winner, so there were two trades in the CELG. Missed the first drop in the exit on CLG, uh, retook it, had a really nice move in the afternoon, late morning. 1027 TV day off, weekly total 9,350, average per day that week 2337. 1031 was MRK, which was a winner, 900. 1031 UAA was 1,000 loser, QCOM, two winners in that, two trades. That had a big move, 1,000 plus 1,500. So October total was 35,080 bucks, average per day 1949. This is with an advanced risk of $1,000 or more per trade. And when you look at the whole, like I said, when you're looking at the whole month, you have to be very specific for what you're doing because you can't trade days when there isn't anything that meets your criteria. There were days in there I was on television, so I, I didn't trade. However, there will be days where you don't get any good gaps and there will be some trades that are losers. Most of all though, it's very important to get out when you're up and to focus on the good ones and to not over trade. As you go back and look and see those results from October, you know, average trade per day is one or two max. And I really think that's very important. I really don't like to be in trades long and I don't trade all day, even though the market's open till four. As a day trader, I'm focusing on the morning because I focus on gaps. And if you came and learned and did my gap course, that's what you'd learn from me. How to trade in the morning, how to pick which stock is gonna have the momentum move in the morning. So the October trading results, the average per day was $19.49 a day. And that's if you did an advance risk. Either way, it was a profitable month. And if you want to be a day trader, it's important to have a specific strategy and, and a structure. It's really a structure that you're following every morning instead of going all over the place. And I think a lot of traders miss that. They don't have a structure. The nice thing about being in the trading room with me is you can follow me and do the trades. I call the trades live in the room. So the class is called the Golden Gap course that I teach. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. The class is online and you can be anywhere in the world and take it. I only have two more classes before 2018. If you're interested, you can do the course November 18th and 19th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. Cost of the class is $4,999. If you want to sign up, 
You must email me for sign up registration papers at melissa at the stockswish.com. And again, like I said, all those trades are called in the live trading room the entry, the stop, the exit. And honestly, if you learn my system, you don't need me to give the calls. But I think that it's important to have my, the support of being in the room with me right after the class. It helps you make money faster right away and also get the system, understand it, and apply it for yourself to do for the rest of your life. Really, gaps work for swing trades, options trades, long-term investments, or day trades. I just happen to like the quick day trades. So empower yourself to trade, to trade the market. You can do it. If you'd like a free trial for this week, you can email me. I give a one-week free trial at melissaatthestockswoosh.com or info at thestockswoosh.com. Don't forget the upcoming class dates. 2018 is almost here. October was a good month. We'll see if we can replicate and have a very positive November and December going in to close out a very strong year. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.